Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn, a mental performance coach at peaksports.com or Peak Performance Sports. In this video, we're going to continue my series on a deep dive into pre-shot routines for golfers. And today, I'm going to discuss what should you be thinking over the ball. This is a super common question that I get from many, many golfers. You're watching the Golf Psychology Podcast. Hey, before we get started, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, or hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when new videos come out. So what should you be thinking over the ball? And when I say, what should you be thinking over the ball, I'm specifically referring to your swing thought, your swing cue, your swing image. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the difference between those as well. Let's start with, what is a swing thought for golfers? A swing thought is something that triggers your swing. It's the last image or last thought you have over the ball. Typically, golfers will think of a swing thought as take it back smooth, for example, or take it back outside, or something that they might be working on at that time, or stay connected, or stay balanced, or something like stay on plane. So sometimes those swing cues are very technical or mechanical for golfers, which isn't ideal. And sometimes those swing cues aren't swing cues at all. They're images or what I call a swing trigger or a swing image. What's a swing trigger or a swing image? A swing trigger or an image might be you're just responding to a target. Think of it in, put in the putting game. Maybe you're a spot putter. You're going to look at your spot and you're just going to go ahead and respond to that spot. That's an image that you have of what you want to do. Same with a full shot. You might stand up over your shot, take a couple looks, know where the target is. You're simply going to think about where the target is. Pretty simple, right? Swing triggers can be something that's feel-oriented like balance and tempo. I do like those. Or they can be more visual-oriented like seeing the target, seeing the trajectory like the shot tracer. It's different strokes for different folks. You have to figure out what's best suited for you. Are you a visual learner and performer? Are you more kinesthetic? Kinesthetic means you want the feel of something like good tempo or good balance during the swing. Now what's really important is that you keep it simple, that you don't have three different swing thoughts over the ball, that you have one swing thought, either tempo, balance, target, trajectory. Those are four that I really, really like. The reason why you don't want to have three swing thoughts during the swing is because the swing happens way too fast for you to consciously manipulate. In addition, the most important step here is you get out of your own way, that you're not giving yourself verbal instructions or you're coaching yourself through your golf swing. Coaching yourself through your golf swing would be, okay, take it back smooth, okay, be on plane, get to the top, pause, point the club down the line, make sure you come down inside, hit the inside of the ball, make sure you follow through and do this on the follow through, extend or, or whatever it is, right? Leave that for the range. What I'm talking about right now is when you go out and play, you want to get out of your own way by allowing your swing to happen. So whatever swing cue, swing trigger that you select, it should help free you up. It should help make you, it should help you make a free, unencumbered swing. So what do I mean by that? There's a difference between trying to make yourself have good tempo versus allowing that tempo to just happen. There's a difference between trying and coaching yourself through having good balance versus just feeling the balance you want and letting it absorb into your body. I know I'm splitting hairs here, but this is an important distinction. Number one, stick with the same swing cue throughout the round. Maybe have one backup. Number two, make sure it's a very simple swing cue that's based on your preference of more visual more feel. Don't forget about auditory. Some people like the sound of a solid hit. That can be an image as well. Number three, certainly don't coach yourself or try to make that swing cue happen. 
if it's more of a technical or mechanical or a feel-oriented swing cue. You should have already practiced that. That should already be part of your game. All right, hope that was helpful. Visit peaksports.com. If you want more information about our golf psychology programs, we work with golfers all over the world via Zoom, Skype, FaceTime, whatever is your choice. All right, thanks for watching.